police are beating the drum for environmental protection. At the entrance to a university in Bogota, they're promoting cycling. The city is trying to get its traffic problems under control. Traffic expert Carlos Pardo gets on his bike as often as possible to avoid traffic jams. But most people in the Colombian capital travel by car or bus. About 19,000 small private buses carry millions of residents through Bogota every day. The antiquated gas guzzlers pollute the air. The city authorities want to change that. Bogotá hasn't yet completely regeared its public transport system. There are still a number of these buses that are far from ideal, are heavy polluters and fail all emission standards. This is what the new bus rapid transit system looks like. More than 200 passengers fit into each of Transmienio's modern express buses. They drive in their own bus lanes, past the gridlock. Carlos Pardo knows that now many cities want to use this approach. Transmienio carries almost two million passengers a day and does what many metro systems do every day, but much more efficiently when you compare the investment costs. Colombia wants to extend the successful model to freight traffic. Carlos Pardo is advising the government on behalf of the German Agency for International Cooperation, the GIZ. Most of the 300,000 or so trucks in the country damage the environment, and they account for more than half of all traffic emissions. Colombia is using vehicle scrappage bonus to get these polluters off the roads. Florentino Marquez from the Transport Ministry says many trucks are over 30 years old. These vehicles are economically inefficient. We want to completely replace the truck fleet as soon as possible, in the next seven to eight years. Some 90,000 of the vehicles are set to be scrapped. It will be a reason to breathe easier when these polluters are finally gone.